RSA encryption is based upon an area of mathematics that our grade school selves are very familiar with, factorization. For those unfamiliar, encrypting a message or data set, and I'm oversimplifying this, means to overlay a secret code to the piece of information, changing it into a jumbled mess that nobody can understand. The only way of breaking the security is by breaking the code, which means finding the factors of a really large number. As of right now, classical computation, even whilst working in parallel, doesn't stand a chance against the monstrously lengthy encryption codes. But that's where quantum computing and Shor's algorithm comes in. Suppose your wallet is secured with a 2048-bit RSA. Shor's factoring algorithm, which harnesses the phenomena of quantum mechanics, could break the encryption in just a few minutes, a process that a classical machine could accomplish in roughly a thousand years. That is, if you're lucky. The truth. In short, Shor's algorithm begins with a poor guess for a factor and turns it into a better one. Note that for any pair of whole numbers that do not share a factor, let's use A and B. If you multiply one of them by itself enough times, that is A times A times A times A, and so on, you will eventually arrive at some whole number multiple of the other number, B, plus one. So let's imagine that A is our crappy guess number and B is N, the number we want to factor. We're guaranteed that A to some power P is equal to a constant multiplied by N plus one. By subtracting the one from both sides and expanding using some factoring, we can now write this as two terms, Shor's new and improved output guesses, which are almost factors of n. Great, we've got this far, but how do we determine what p actually is? Well, in comes the quantum part. Quantum computation, by superposing a bunch of possible values to interfere according to their correctness, essentially cancels out the wrong answers and makes the right ones more pronounced. In order to fully understand this, let's generalize the first mathematical construct we saw above. We have a number, a, to some power, in this case y, is equal to a constant multiplied by n plus some remainder. If we're to add or subtract any multiple of p to the y exponent, the output is simply a changing multiple of n. Note that the remainder r does not change. So this periodicity is why we can utilize order finding techniques to find the factors of a number. Suppose in a quantum computation, we measure the r term, which in actuality we can do. The program will in turn yield the correct powers of a for which r is the remaining value to be added to a multiple of n. And because of the repeating property mentioned previously, all of these outputs will be equal distance apart, that is, a distance equal to p. Through some subsequent quantum gates, Shor's algorithm provides us with a constant, which is 2 to the n, where n is the number of qubits acted upon, divided by p times some other random constant j. And with some simple multiplication, we can determine our x value in a to the y equals x times n plus r. And with that, we can find our factors of n. And while this was a really quick and surface level breakdown, I invite those who want to learn more about the math behind and code that simulates this groundbreaking algorithm, as well as the QFT and QPE subroutines to check out my much lengthier article linked in the description. The truth.